Would you like to invest in a business that is almost flawless? Like the idea of owning shares in a dividend aristocrat that's increased its dividend for decades? Want to collect a market beating dividend growing at a double digit rate? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best selling author. 30 year old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, make sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a special news announcement. I want to tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is an asset manager benefiting and profiting from the upward slope of global equities. Asset managers operate incredible business models. They're exposed to global capital markets, which is where a ton of money is made. And then they collect fees on top of that, making it a very powerful one-two punch. Adding in all of the liquidity from stimulative fiscal and monetary policy almost makes it too easy. This business is almost a lock for higher profits and dividends over the long run. I personally invested in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. Best of all, the stock looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I wanna share with you an opportunity I recently came across in shares of T. Rowe Price Group, Inc., which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. T. Rowe Price Group, Inc., stock ticker T-R-O-W, is a large investment management company that manages assets for individual and institutional investors. Founded in 1937, T. Rowe Price is now a $40 billion by market cap investment management mammoth that employs more than 7,500 people. With approximately $1.5 trillion in assets under management, T. Rowe Price ranks as one of the largest US-based asset managers. Asset managers like T. Rowe Price operate phenomenal business models. That's because they have a multifaceted path to extraordinary growth. First, they have a lot of exposure to global equities. And since global equities are almost certainly headed higher over the long run, the company stands to benefit and profit from this. Plus, their assets tend to be sticky in nature. This limits outflows. Stimulative fiscal and monetary policies have recently created unprecedented levels of liquidity, exacerbating the naturally favorable dynamics that T. Rowe Price enjoys. Almost all asset classes have gone higher, and the company has benefited from this. Then you have the recurring fees on top of it. Asset managers collect a attractive fees for their services, which gives them a way to supercharge the compelling underlying business model of being located in a rising tide of markets that's lifting all boats. While results can be somewhat lumpy from time to time as markets are volatile, the steady nature of fees helps to smooth things out. This one-two punch means the business is almost a lock for more profit over the long run. And more profit translates to higher dividends, which is exactly what you get here. The company has increased its dividend for 35 consecutive years, making them a dividend aristocrat. Even with the inherent volatility in markets, the dividend has been anything but volatile. The 10-year dividend growth rate is 12.8%, which is outstanding. And you're pairing that double-digit dividend growth rate with the stock's market-beating yield of 2.4%. Also, the dividend is quite safe. The payout ratio is only 43.3%. I view the sweet spot for a dividend growth stock to be a yield of between 2.5% and 3.5% paired with a high single digit or better dividend growth rate. This stock is basically right there. Looking at business growth, T. Rowe Price has increased its revenue from $2.747 billion in fiscal year 2011 to $6.206 billion in fiscal year 2020. That's a compound annual growth rate of 9.48%. This is outstanding. I usually look for a mid single digit top line growth rate from a mature business like this, but the company blew that out of the water. Meanwhile, earnings per share advanced from $2.92 to $9.98 over this 10-year stretch, which is a compound annual growth rate of 14.63%. Very, very impressive. The company has been mildly acquisitive, but I see most of this growth as being the result of just an incredible business. A combination of margin expansion and buybacks drove excess bottom line growth. Regarding the latter, the float's been reduced by approximately 12% over the last decade. 
decade. Looking forward, CFRA believes that T. Rowe Price will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 11% over the next three years. CFRA cites key tailwinds as being the company's strong relative investment performance and the popularity of their target date retirement funds. Giving further context to the performance angle, 77% of the company's fund assets under management was beating peers over the last 10 years as of the end of 2020 per Morningstar. Adding color to the other point, two thirds of the company's assets under management is comprised of retirement accounts and variable annuity investment portfolios. These are long duration assets with a low likelihood of ending up in outflows. A key headwind that CFRA sees is the fact that more than 60% of T. Rowe Price's assets under management is in equities exposing the company to that volatility. While CFRA's near-term earnings per share growth forecast would represent a slowdown compared to the last decade, I think the caution is prudent and warranted. Almost all asset classes are elevated. The U.S. stock market is near all-time highs, and the last decade has been very kind to asset managers. Still, an 11% earnings per share compound annual growth rate could provide for similar dividend growth, which would be a very appealing outcome over the foreseeable future. Pairing double-digit dividend growth with the stock's market-beating yield is a compelling aggregate income and total return story here. Moving over to the balance sheet, the company has an excellent financial position. There's no long-term debt. Profitability is also very robust. Over the last five years, the firm has averaged annual net margin of 32.67% and annual return on equity of 28.52%. There's almost nothing to fault here. It's almost a flawless business. And with scale, performance-oriented brand value, and switching costs that keep assets sticky, the company does benefit from competitive advantages. Of course, there are risks to consider. Regulation, litigation, and competition are omnipresent risks in every industry. The biggest risk here might be the very business model due to the high amount of volatility exposure from markets. There's also cyclical risk here. A pronounced recession would hurt asset valuations, assets under management, fees, and profits. The overall shift to passive investments reduces demand for active management and the associated fees. I view the company's size as also working against them in some ways as the law of large numbers starts to creep in and make it more difficult to meaningfully grow assets under management in relative terms. Overall, I see these risks as manageable and more than offset by the quality of the business. The valuation only adds to the appeal. The stock's price to earnings ratio is 17.9. That's materially below the broader market's earnings multiple. While it's actually higher than the stock's own five-year average price to earnings ratio, I think this is a case where the market simply got it wrong before. I don't see any reason why the stock should deserve such a lowly multiple. On the flip side, the price to cash flow ratio of 21.6 is well off of its own three-year average of 30.5. And the yield is also roughly in line with its own recent history historical average. I valued shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 8%. This long-term dividend growth rate is on the high end of what I ordinarily allow for, but I think this business has earned the benefit of the doubt. The payout ratio is low, there's no debt, and both the 10-year earnings per share growth rate and the 10-year dividend growth rate are well over 8%. There's also CFRA's near-term earnings per share growth forecast, which is well above 8%. I think this is a sensible long-term expectation for this valuation. The dividend discount model analysis analysis gives me a fair value of $233.28. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value of money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates TROW as a two-star stock with a fair value estimate of 100 $70. CFRA rates TROW as a four-star buy with a 12-month target price of $190. We have a bit of a spread here, although I think Morningstar is being too conservative. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $197.76, which would indicate the stock is possibly 10% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. T. Rowe Price Group Inc. is a nearly flawless business directly benefiting from all of the excess liquidity. They've built a high-quality business that layers an attractive fee structure on on top of the naturally favorable exposure to capital markets. With a market beating yield, 35 consecutive years of dividend increases, a low payout ratio, a double digit dividend growth rate, and the potential that shares are 10% undervalued, this dividend aristocrat should be strongly considered by dividend growth investors right now. 
And now for a special news announcement. Crown Castle International Corp stock ticker CCI just announced a blowout quarter with a 20% year over year increase in adjusted funds from operations per share. And they increased their guidance for this fiscal year. We put out a video not long ago highlighting this name as a great long-term 5G play. And this recent quarter only reinforces that view. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about this stock. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including a link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.